right? So I'm gonna stay here for a couple more minutes and watch this before I go ahead in the house and get my chicken seasoned. I'll pick this back up when I'm out, when I am ready to load up the smoker. Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah! yeah. All right, so you guys saw me get the chicken wings loaded up. And if you notice, I put them all right wings together, all left wings together. And that is to, it allows them to sit in the smoker better because I can kind of bunch them up a little better. Now you see the wing tips, what's gonna happen with the wing tips is after a couple hours, they're gonna rise straight up. And you'll see how this all plays out. But I wanted to give you guys a close up look of the chicken wings as I got them loaded into the smoker. So these are the 70 plus for my customers. These are what was left over for my family. And I'll be back out here in a little bit. I'm going to make sure the fire is right, my temperature is right. I need to now go ahead inside and get the lamb seasoned up and I'll get the lamb brought out and I'll put it right there. So I'll be back out here in a bit. All right, so <clears throat> as promised, I have my two boneless legs of lamb. I'm gonna get them onto the, onto the smoker. And you can see my wings are looking pretty good. And as I was telling you before, the the, uh, the little winglet piece, it comes right up. So now I have my two boneless legs of lamb. Now this is the smaller of the two. This was about four and a half pounds. And this was the bigger of the two. And this is the one that I'm gonna give to, not give, but that is earmarked for one of you guys. So when I get the boneless legs of lamb, I try to get them to be about four pounds. Uh, I charge $16 per pound for lamb or $60 for the whole leg of lamb. So basically I try to make sure it works out in my favor. Now. These legs, or the one in the back was about four pounds. The one in the front was actually a little over five. So, you're welcome. All right, I'm gonna close this up and I'll be back out here in a bit. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and I am back out at the smoker with the chicken wings and not really doing anything with the lamb. The beef ribs are actually still over in the vertical smoker. I have, uh, I just turned the heat up in the vertical smoker and I wrapped them up, but I'm gonna finish them over there. Yeah. So uh, let me show you guys something. So when I'm doing chicken wings, every now and again you get chicken wings that look like this, where they have this big old fat pocket. I always bust this because I find that if I don't bust it, the wing just stays puffy and it doesn't crisp up. It's like that piece of fat, that pocket there, I don't know what it is or does, but I always bust it before I sauce the wings and I'm going to be saucing the wings soon and I always bust that to help 
get the, it's just like a fat pocket underneath the skin and it just oozes out and keeps the skin moist when you're cooking, I feel. And uh, I just bust it so that I can help get a crisper skin. So your mileage may vary, of course, but I go through and do this to every one of the wings to make sure that I get it. All right, now I'm gonna sauce these guys up, flip them over, sauce the other side, and we'll finish the cook. I'm gonna get those busted down at the bottom and get those sauced as well. All right, so we are just about done. I've gone ahead, the briskets are finished, the beef ribs are finished. Actually, the brisket is already gone. Um, my buddy came through. Uh, guys, remember that wedding I did not too long ago where it was on the water? My buddy, uh, Dustin Sims, uh, he and his wife uh, are expecting, they're expecting their first son, and today they're having a baby shower, so he wanted some brisket for the baby shower. So he came through already, picked up his brisket. The lamb, lamb, <laughs> I'm a little delirious, yes. Uh, this is the smaller piece of lamb, let's see. This is the smaller piece of lamb, and uh, the good doctor is gonna be getting this piece of lamb right there. If you guys know, Dr. Ramirez is gonna be stopping through, and she's picking up some lamb. So I'm hooking her up with a big piece of lamb. Her and her husband, Torian. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, there's a little bit of barbecue sauce that fell on it from the wings above. Uh, but this one was unscathed. Speaking of the wings, they will be done momentarily. I'm uh, just waiting on, I'm just kind of checking them every now and again, to see if they get the, the, the skin right and the color right. So. I will pick this up when I'm about to pull those out. I will uh, get them into trays and I'll, I'll pick this up later. So my first order is for 30 wings, the other order is for 40 wings. So let's start getting these put into the pan. a wrap so again this was uh, two smokers one cook if you get that reference comment down below so thank you again as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe did you notice down in the description I put a PO box yes that's right I got a PO box so you want to send me something please feel free uh, it's PO box uh, 3236 Catonsville, 
That's C A T O N S V I L L E, oh. Catonsville, Maryland, 21228. It's just up the street from my house uh, in the county. That post office stays open a little later than the one closest to my house. So that's why it's not Baltimore, in case you're wondering. Nonetheless, if you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Turn the notification bell on, even though I do post videos almost every Tuesday, almost every Thursday at 7 a.m. Eastern. We also have a live stream Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. We hang out, we just chill and talk. And uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Oh, nope. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, as always, for watching.